Hello all viewers, it's I, Rick, the fake redneck. Today, we're going to talk about a very special project. A special project that has utterly failed multiple times in the past. However, this project has also made its shameful comeback over time. You see, during these comebacks, this project has come up with many horrendous ways in order for it to convince the U.S. government that it means business, and trust me, it does. The project is called the Stop Online Piracy Act, or SOPA for short. A very strange name for SOAP, but I'll let it pass. SOPA's goal is to stop online piracy on the internet, and by doing so, SOPA's main intention is to, well, change the order in the internet and, well, enhance the copyright claims that you usually see a lot nowadays. I guess you can say SOPA's main goal is to clean up the internet, hence it's a very appropriate name. SOAP. Ah. And you know what? I'm all for it. Yeah, I said it. I mean, come on, people. SOAP is good for you. Or, um, SOAP. Ah, is good for you. I mean, it keeps you all sparkly clean in for the morning. I mean, why do you think my fake redneck beard looks all sexy? I mean, look at it. It's charming. And well knowing how evil and demanding the internet is, I think it needs a bath once in a while. I mean, that's what soap is for, folks. It's going to cleanse the internet from all of its evil, perverted shit that conquers it nowadays. That's right, folks. You all need a bath, you dirty, dirty, dirty dirt bags. Or at least put some cologne on. But anyways, uh, don't take my word for it, though. Here's another famous person that also supports soapa for the same reasons I do. I love it. I have no shame.